So like the, the change in society, besides uh, the policy level when the governments decide to change something, is also happening from the bottom, from uh, personal initiatives of people. And th that's the, the sort of definition of cultural innovation. It's in the sense of sin, this is like uh, a neuro system, a, a neurological system of synapses, of synapses. The synapses are connecting and when connecting they create new ways of approaching uh, challenges of the reality. Young creative individuals who like to develop themselves, who like to improve their habitat and, let's say, the world. communicate really well with the different uh, audiences that's really good uh, maybe because they're like just images with no words and uh, uh, we speak about very expressive designs here it's a really nice local support ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, there's, there, there are some issues with wind actually in this, uh, in this room, so uh, since our exhibition is very uh, gentle, <laughs> we need to close the door. Yes. We prevent uh, the, the airstream from uh, launching the exhibition in the air. <laughs> but yes, the local people really supported as well, and uh, I feel like we found another potential hub for CIN actually uh, here. Uh, because this building is amazing. It was built, I think, in the uh, 17th century. And, uh, well, just the, the, the fact that it's still here after all uh, those centuries, uh, that past tells a lot about the constitution of this building. And it's full of different rooms, which are used either as exhibition spaces, working spaces, uh, residences for writers. On the top of the building, there is a a nice uh, um, concert space for unplugged concerts, there's a kitchen here, there's another gallery in the, in the backyard and there is a restaurant uh, in another building. So actually it has everything what is needed for one perfect uh, CIN meeting for example. Thank you.